Not a lot. You're gonna be delighted, get excited. Maybe, but not a lot. You're gonna see a whole lot of magic. Look at this trick and that trick. And when he says it's not a lot, you'll agree such a lot. Meet the man who excels. Be honest, because we've got people at home, sir. You don't mind me calling you, sir, right? <laughs> Those are fish, yeah? That's Goldfish. Right. We're going to do a trick with them called flying fish. Now, over here, the lovely shell. Uh -huh. Hello, flower. <laughs> we just pour those in there. Now, they're much happier in there, but they're a little bit lonely. So what we'll do is we'll just... There's one other one about there. If we just get hold of that, I think you should be able to see him. Come on, fella. There he is. <laughs> Now here, Jackie, you don't have any fish at all, so this is why they call this particular trick the flying fish. The flying fish. They fly through the air with the greatest of ease. You see, you use another two tubes, not the tubes that are full with the water. Do you understand that, Julie? Yeah? Because you're the people that are supposed to check up on all this. You place that over there, like so. In there, we have the fish. <laughs> and here, we've got another tube. Now you can see, I hope, right through that, I just to prove that there's no... There we are. You can see right through the water there. We just cover this over as well. And now we have to do an amazing trick. I'm going to make the fish disappear from there. You're not. Yes, I am. And they're going to reappear over there. Now, come a little closer, because if I, I can't do it at a distance. Now, there's the first one. Pow. See it go? No? It's because I cheat. There's the second one. There's the third one. And when they go across like that, in here, we now have no fish. And you don't believe it? OK, there's no fish there. And over here, we have got one, two, three, flying <laughs> fish. Oh, yeah. Woo! Lovely. Here we go, fellas. Ah. Now, the origin of a lot of these tricks was, of course, the, the Chinese magicians that came over during the last century. <laughs> Fish and chips. Um, <laughs> the stage jam with a sense of humour. And what they used to do, they didn't use to pull them out of the air. They used to use um, bait. And they used to use a fishing line. Like, like you would, I would go fishing normally. So let's, uh, I'll show you a chip. We'll, we'll get one of these chips. There's a chip. And all you have to do is connect it onto the hook, like so. Now, once you've got the chip on the hook, you can then take out your fishing rod. Now, I'm going to go fishing amongst the jury, just in towards your pocket there, right? One and two, I think. Yes, there's a fish on the end of there. That's a nice one. And you can just drop that in there. There it is. Now, when I was a boy, I used to do one of these fishing acts when I was a boy. There's a little stand round the back, you can't see that. Uh, and, and we used to do a trick, um, my very first show, where you catch a fish, if you can catch a fish, and you go, oh, oh, okay, whoops, come here, little devil. Well, hmm, and you used to eat it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if only you knew how really awful this was. <laughs> Before all the children in the country start running towards the goldfish bowl and thinking, ah, snack time, I'll explain something. You see, if you did that, we would get letters from the RSPCF, which is, of course, the Royal Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Fish, or the NSPCC, which is even worse, National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Chips. This, <laughs> this is how the trick is done. Now, normally we do not give away tricks on this program, but tonight, special treat just for you. You take a carrot, you shape a piece off the carrot like that. I hope you can see that, yeah? And then, you cut it off. Now, if you cut it off, all right, you are left with a thing that is shaped, if you can look at that, like a little goldfish. Now, that is a fairly inanimate object. But if you use your hand your, um, to wiggle it with, like this, I can wiggle it for you, I hope. Yeah, like that, all right? Just wiggle it, like that, there we are. It doesn't even look like a fish, does it? M maybe it would look more like a fish if, if we dropped it in the water. Yes, it would look more like a fish. You'll have to excuse me, I'm still eating the last one. Mmm. Now, let's try this again, because um, I, I quite like this. This is, uh, <laughs> it's fun. A lot of people, you know, carry things around with them that they're not even aware of. Gentleman sitting up at the back, what's your name? Would you just open up your, um, your jacket? That's fine. Now, pull that lapel away to the side. 
Thank you. And would you tip your head away to the left? All right? There's a piece of bed. Have a look at that, sir. And there it is. Last one in the bowl. Now, I find your coat fairly fascinating. I really do. I find it very interesting. Any man that carries a fish around with him has got to be crazy. Yeah? Yes. Okay, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. Not crazy. What do you do for a living? I work for a credit card company. You work for a credit card company? Really? Well, yes, I could believe that. Just um, <laughs> stick up. Sort of, remove your coat. Do you mind, by the no, way? Not at all. You've got sleeves and things in the shirt. Yeah, great. <laughs> now, I'm going about to show you a miracle. Do sit down, sir, because you will not believe this. This is your coat, all right? What we do, we just go underneath your coat. Now, watch very closely, because what I'm about to produce is quite amazing. A wallet. <laughs> no, that's not the trick. You have that. Um, no, 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 this, this, um, and, um, here it is. The biggest fish of all. Go! That's a glass bowl. Stand over there, sir. Forward so the cameras can just get a good picture of the fish, all right? I'll kill that calf. This is your jacket. Yes? You agree to your jacket? It is. From which we have removed so far one goldfish, yes. one codfish, and one wallet, all right? But the Chinese magicians always used to end their act like this. From a Chinese trick to a Chinese dance, welcome the magic set.
seen ventriloquists on magic shows before, but I guarantee you've never seen one more attractive than my next guest. With Lamb Chop, it's Shari Lewis. Thank you very much. And now Lamb Chop and I are going to sing, uh-uh. What? What? What'd you say? I said, uh-uh. What do you mean, uh-uh? I'm not going to sing. I just came out here to say, hello. Oh, hello. And now we're going to sing, uh-uh. What? No, I'm not going to sing. I'm going to have dinner. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, you are so silly. You, you really are. You, you wonder why I treat you like a child. You say, you do, the most childish things. What? Uh, what did I ever do childish? Oh, come on. No, no, really. No, 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 come on, me. What? Not now. No, I have nothing to hide. All right. What do I do childish? All right. All right. <clears throat> what? You suck your thumb. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? No, no. It is a very immature habit. Oh, well, how about all the grown-ups who drink and smoke? That's irrelevant. It's also unhealthy. Nobody ever got a bad cough or a hangover from sucking his thumb. And sucking your thumb does not pollute the air around us. Did you ever go on an airplane and see a section marked thumb sucking and none thumb sucking on it? <laughs> no, sir. Because as habits go, it's clean, convenient, and inexpensive. You always have your thumb with you. Nobody ever ran out of thumb. Nobody ever left this house without his thumb. Did you ever hear anybody say, oh, my God, I'm down on my last thumb? <laughs> I wouldn't know how to suck my thumb. You, you mean you never tried it? I don't think so. Oh! Oh! I am speechless! Well, how do you start sucking your thumb? Oh, it is so easy. First of all, you make a fist. Make a fist. Okay, I made a fist. No, oh, the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Except for the migraine. Uh, what's the matter with you today? Oh, I don't, I don't want to discuss it. Is something bothering you? I, I don't want to discuss it. Oh, come on. What's bothering you? Well, if you must know. Yeah? It's my salary. Your salary? I see. Oh, she sees, she sees. Oh, you got to have good eyes to see my salary. <laughs> well, I really do not see where money is all this important. You do not see? No. Oh. Well, then I'm going to help you to see. Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. Okay. Now, consecrate on my voice only. Your voice only. I'm consecrating. Okay. Now, from now on, from now on, when you hear the girl's name Penny, Penny, you'll think of coins, coins. When you hear the name Bill, Bill, you'll think of dollars, dollars. And when you hear the name Johnny, Johnny, you'll think of cash. Money. Money makes the world go around. The world go around. The world go around. Money makes the world go around. It makes the world go around. A mark, a yen, a buck, a pound, a buck, a pound, a buck, a pound. Is all that makes the world go round The clinking, clanking sound It makes the world go round Money, 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 money If you happen to be rich and you feel like a night's entertainment You can pay for the day escapade If you happen to be rich and alone and you need a companion You can ring, you can ring for the maid If you happen to be rich and you find you are left by your lover Moan, groan, I don't want Take it on the chin, call a cab Begin to recover on your foot in carriage Money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. Money makes the world go around. Of this we both are sure. I'm being poor. Oh, money, 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 do money, 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 stash, money, 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 cash. If you haven't any cold in the stove and you're cold in the winter and you're first to the wind and you're faint, you haven't any shoes on your feet, your coat's in his plate, but you put thirty pounds underweight. Go to get a word of advice from your dad or your mother. They will tell you to love evermore. But when hunger comes around, get a tat, get a tat on the window. Knock, knock. Who's there? Brother. Brother who? 
Brother, can you spare a dime? Yeah! Money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. Money makes the world go around. The clink, 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 clink,
Oh, now you're here, you've got a big choice. You can either go to swap it with the tenner, or you can swap it with the 50. Because it's good. The 50. Right. You're trying to get my 50p <laughs> on that D, aren't you? I know. Give me whatever is on B. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Switch the penny with either... It's like that little song sheet they used to have with the little ball going along. <laughs> Switch the penny with either this side. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, you must be older than I thought. Right, <laughs> switch the penny with either side again. No, you can't. You're back to the 50p situation. Mm. So would you like to swap it with a 50p? Superb already. Give me whatever is on E. Give me whatever is on C. And finally, you keep D, <laughs> which is your penny. You lost all that money and you have a goes away from the Bunko booth unhappy. So what we're going to do here is just give you a little special prize, and there you are, a piggy bank. And if you, that's just the piggy bank for your penny. Big round of applause for lovely day. If you watched some of the shows in the last series, you'll have seen a man face a gun in a game he called Russian Roulette. Now, he was estimating whether the gun was loaded with live or blank ammunition, and a lot of people thought that perhaps the marksman was in collusion with him. Now, I know he wasn't, but just so that he can come along and confirm the fact, we've invited back a former Olympic gold medalist, a member of the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers, Remy. It's Captain Jim Fox. This is small next year. <laughs> anyway, Jim is uh, invited back because he is a marksman and a known famous marksman. For the benefit of everyone at home, there's no collusion twixt you and my next guest. Certainly not. No. So, this is the man you've all gone to see, or rather you've waited to see. Would you please give a round of applause for Hans Moretti? <laughs> Do you remember Captain Fox? Sure, I remember. Hello, how are you? Good? Well, you? I'm going to leave you both together, and I wish you every success with the trick. Good Thank luck. you. Hans Moretti. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, you brought your own gun. Is yours? Yes. Yes. Okay, you can tell me how kind of what kind of gun this is. It's a very ordinary, <laughs> old, caliber 22 rifle, and it shoots for the experts in the audience or at home, long rifle ammunition. I see. Do you have also the bullets? Yes, I with do. You? Can I see? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yes, this is caliber 22. And uh, they are real, yes? All of them? Very real. OK, like, like the proof of the are real. May I ask somebody from the audience? There is uh, somebody coming. All right. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing? May I ask you to take three bullets out? Which one do you want? One? Two, three. This is fine. So, thank you, Jim, for the bullets. Then I have <clears throat> three color pens. Which one do you choose? The red one. Please make a mark on the three bullets. Ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't fast touch from this moment, a rifle, I also wouldn't touch these three bullets. This gentleman picks out. You have the marks on. <laughs> okay, please put it into the glass and uh, hold the glass here. Now, take one of the three bullets and give it to Jim and you load the rifle, please. <clears throat> I would remind you that the three bullets have been freely chosen and marked by a jury member, loaded by Jim here, Fox and not touched by Hans Moretti glass, window at glass, all. And then here I have a can, metal can. So, we like to prove after all of the bullets are real. Give a shot through the glass and this can, please. Wow. Yes, this is a really good shot. You see the hole here inside, yes? You can see the hole. There are real bullets, is this right? Sure enough, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Now, you give this gentleman another bullet, one of this. You load it again. 
Again, a choice of two bullets. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to show you how to catch a bullet with my teeth. You see the hole here in the glass? So, if I give you the command, you shot in my mouth through this window glass, but don't shoot in the same hole, otherwise you kill me. Okay? Look, <clears throat> I open my mouth like this. Then I give you the command, huh! then you pull the trigger. Is it right? Right. OK. Just a second. Gentlemen, come here. <laughs> and I'm glad to see you're still with us. I really am. I'd just like to point out to the people at home now the two bullet holes right through the glass here. And of course, Hans Meretti successfully completed that. The jury member has checked the bullet. And Jim, thanks for helping so much. And ladies and gentlemen, Hans Moretti. Now, we're used to seeing Sharia Lewis with a, with a sort of a puppet on the end of her arm. But tonight, though, she's brought along a couple of her friends um, for a special performance that, that, personally, I can't wait to see. It, it's a couple of chorus girls, and, and we want you to watch a very special chorus line featuring Sharia Lewis! <laughs>
Now, amongst our motley jury, amongst this motley crew, there are certain people involved in the new money. You know, because nowadays nobody uses money. They use credit cards. And we have representatives here tonight, I understand, because the BBC have told me this much, from various credit card companies. Now, if you're involved in the management of a credit card company, put your hand up in the air so I know where you're sitting. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Uh, you're involved with a credit card company. I see. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, you're well, not? I am, really, because I have a credit card. <laughs> oh. Well, we've had show-offs before on the programme. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in that case, you just landed yourself in it. Do you know that? No. Oh, well, you have. Check it out. <laughs> now, if you haven't got one that matches up with either of these three, we're in, in big trouble. It's only worth 50 pence. Is it? It's not, is it? Yeah. What have you got? you got a, um, a Barclay card, <laughs> which gives you access to a diner's club. Now, that's, uh, <laughs> has that named everybody? No, 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 no. American excuse. That's the other one. Right. What's this? Um, <laughs> That's your Barclay card. Just check that while I did all that, I never did anything to it. The name's still the same. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The name's the same. Read out loudly the last, what are they, three or four numbers can I on put the my end? Glasses, huh? Oh, yes, of course you can. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, this is rapidly turning into a series all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> do any of you people handle this particular one? You do. Was that another? You do. Oh, you do. It's not often I win the jackpot, but uh, there you go. You're awfully attractive. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Okay, Chris, you can't make me cross, even if you quiz me. This is what we'll do, Chris. We're going to give you that. You're happy with that? Okay. And your signature's on the back, yeah. okay? And it's uh, Peter Squiggle. <laughs> Peter Squiggle. Oh, Peter Johnson. Okay. Now, it's very important that Peter Johnson's card is a good and proper uh, Barclay card. It is? Yeah? It's a good yes, credit card. You'd give him card. credit on that? I would. Yeah? Yeah? Do they always? The only one that would. The only one that would. <laughs> Peter, just come and stand over here near me, because have you ever heard of a PP, PP, P? No? no? Well, come over here, Peter. Come right over here. Now, this is the PP, PP, P coming on, all right? And what we want you to do... <laughs> Your job is making art. <laughs> Come here, trouble. <laughs> what? I've got to tell you what he just said. Do you know what he just said? He said, my, my job is making artificial legs. <laughs> I can't wait to watch his face. Show him. <laughs> now, just... You, we didn't know. I re we didn't know. No, no. no. I, I would get rid of that, Peter. Come a little closer because I've had a bath. And, um, <laughs> and, and Chris, come nearer because it does me the world of good if it does nothing for the act. Now, uh, where are you from, Chris? Potter's Bar. Potter's Bar. Oh, falling in love again. Now, this is a Barclay card and we've got it checked off. We're going to put it in there. All right? Now, there it goes into the little envelope. You happy with that? Okay. Current Barclay card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Did you check the number? Yeah. Okay. What were they? Last three. Three, nine, four. Hey, good memory. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what they do, Peter, if you're a bad risk? Tear it up. No, they don't tear it. You can't tear a Barclay card. What they do is this. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Impressed now, aren't you? <laughs> now, this is... Yes, you are, aren't you? What is, what is happening now is inside Chris's head, the little wheels are going, thinking of the number of forms that have to be filled in, you see? That was just in case you thought I'd sneaked it up this end of the envelope. Um, what the PPPP stands for is, in fact, Paul's Patent Plastic Pulverizer. Is that enough? Yes. Or even perfect. Or Peter and Paul, that's you, isn't it? What's the matter? I'm worried. You're worried? You're worried. <laughs> that's the first time I've done it. This, I'm the one that's worried. <laughs> Now, there we go. We push all the pieces in there. We've got to push them down a little bit because we're going to put the lid on. Don't turn the handle. Oh, you turn the handle? Oh, yes, you have to turn the handle. <laughs> because now, come here, folks. I now pronounce you man and credit card. Listen, <laughs> this, is, this is important. You see, a lot of people do not believe that once a magical trick is taking place, that the magician is capable of reforming the Barclay card or whatever credit card into any other form than it first started out. We can. I used to do this, but the monkey died. <laughs> now, there it is. Look at that. We'll just take the handle out of the way, and there you are. A credit card that has been pulverised. 
right. Now, would you give him credit on that? No. Why not? You did a minute ago. <laughs> You've checked everything yourself. Pardon? I can't read the number. You can't read the number? <laughs> ah, then we shall reform it. Now, all we do for that is we have here a little pan. Now, as everybody knows, nothing is ever destroyed. Matter can be reformed, but not destroyed totally. Stand back, Peter, your beard could go up. No. <laughs> I am about. <laughs> and in this trick, I am not joking, Peter. Yeah. I love a man with a sense of humour. Underneath that beard, there's a sickly grin. Now. <laughs> Having taken that, we then set fire to this. Now, having set fire to that, you can see it reforming, but it does not reform down there. Just stay where you are, Peter, a moment. Come with me, Chris, to my place. <laughs> now, if, if you see here, we have a ribbon. Now, if we just set fire to the bottom of the ribbon with what is left of the Barclay card, the ribbon will go up and up. Now, at the top of the ribbon, you can see, you know, where the flames go up. You can see that there is a balloon. Now, you can see that probably before anyone else. The jury can see it. Once the flames reach the top, the balloon will burst and blow the flames out. And down comes that, which is a parachute. You, just stamp on that, will you, love? It's all right, because the studio's insured. And this, <laughs> this is now, um, uh, what is it? It's an airmail letter? Yeah? OK. Um, Peter, would you like to just take that yourself and read? Who is it addressed to? Paul Daniels, BBC Centre. BBC, Television Centre, Wood Lane. Oh, well, it's come... The rest of it? No, it's come to the right place. What we're going to... I was just checking, because I want you to watch carefully. I'm going to cut open the end of this, all right? Now, this is fascinating. Come and look at this. If I cut the end off... Now, Peter, I don't want to do anything more. I want you to open that envelope. I've just taken the end off. My hands have been empty for the whole of the trick. I want you to just take out... What is inside? Another envelope. Another envelope. Right, we shall open this. Now... <laughs> Now, inside here, there are 47 other envelopes. <laughs> Why don't you tune in next week and see what happens at the end? <laughs> inside there, there is another envelope. You take all that, all right? That's right. You see, in this take way... It. Oh, yes, take it out. Whatever is in there is... Another the... envelope. No, no, that's not just another envelope. That's the original envelope, the one that we patently pulverised. And if we just take this and open the end up very carefully like that, if you reach inside there... Chris, I'm going to let you do that. It's all fingertip stuff. Take it out. In there, there is a credit card. I want you to look at the credit card. I want you to tell me something. Would you give credit on it? Mm. Yeah. It looks like a good one. That's because it is a good one. What's the name on the front? P.A. Johnston. P.A. Johnston. Is that your Wonderful. name? What's the last three numbers? 394. 394. Is that the last three numbers? It was. Okay. And just a final check. Is that your signature on the back? Is it dry? Oh, it'll be dry, yes. <laughs> just have a little rub. Right. And it yes. is your yes. signature. Yes. It yes. is? Yes. So, the credit card that you have just found inside that envelope, that was inside that envelope, that was inside that envelope, that got pulverised before, that was up in a balloon and came down on a parachute, is yours. Yes. Now, that's <laughs> my... Not a lot. And did you see a hole?